one of the characters from the original Street Fighter 2 lineup, Dalsum. His style is one of the most mysterious in the Street Fighter series. He is a diverse character that has the ability to stretch and even throw fire flames out of his mouth. What are the mysteries behind the Yoga Master himself? Let yourself be enlightened by this video today. Welcome to the Street Fighterverse. Dalsum got his name from an Indian restaurant called Dals in Osaka near Capcom's office. During the development of Street Fighter II, the early original design for Dalsum has a striking resemblance to a Ganesha. Ganesha is also known as a Ganapati and a Vinayaka. It is one of the best known and most worshipped deities in the Hindu pantheon, although Ganesha has many attributes. He is readily identified by his elephant head. He is widely revered, more specifically, as the remover of obstacles, the patron of arts and sciences, and the diva of intellect and wisdom. A picture of Ganesha can be seen in the background of his Street Fighter 2 stage. Lead designer of the Street Fighter 2, Akira Nishitani, stated in an interview that the concept of Dalsum's ability to stretch his limbs comes from the ripple zoom punch technique from the manga series Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. This is reconfirmed in the comment section of Dalsum's biography in the Street Fighter X Tekken Artworks art book. Dalsum's abilities also resemble those of an Indian fighter in the 1976 motion picture Master of the Flying Guillotine, starring Jimmy Wang Yu. Like Dalsum, the fighter in the movie used a yoga-based fighting style and had the ability to extend his limbs to attack Dalsum also has the ability to breathe fire in various ways. In earlier releases, Capcom USA claimed that Dalsum's ability to breathe fire came from his consumption of curry, but Capcom of Japan changed this to a blessing from Agni, Hindu god of fire, and a later English manual of Super Street Fighter II for the Super Nintendo states that the flames stem from his mastery over fully unleashing his Latin Kundalini energies in his training. Kundalini is described as a sleeping, dormant potential force in the human organism. It is one of the components of an esoteric description of the subtle body, which consists of nadis, energy channels, chakras, psychic centers, prana, subtle energy, and bindu, drops of essence. Dalsam is often depicted with pupil-less white eyes. His build is that of a normal man who exercises and weight trains regularly, except for his abdomen and waist, which appears out of proportion and emacitated. His arms are also large in length, and he uses this to create an advantage over his opponents during fights, usually opting to wear them down from a distance. He wears torn yellow saffron shorts, held tight around his waist by a piece of rope, as his only clothing as well as yellow saffron wristbands and ankle bands. He has three red stripes adorning his head, hoop earrings and metallic bracelets, and sometimes also anglets. In the Street Fighter Alpha series, he wears a turban that he removes before battle. The skulls he wears around his neck are those of village children that died during a plague. Dalsam's minimal clothing and necklace of skulls are reminiscent of the Hindu ascetics known as the Kapalikas, or skull bearers. Dalsam's alternate costume changes his skin color, usually to a shade of gray or yellow, reminiscent of the ash that Hindu holy men cover their bodies in. In Street Fighter V, he has gained a long white beard as a result from aging and wears his turban rather than removing it. Dalsum is quite stoic, serious, self-disciplined, humble, and also very stern when needed. Being a pacifist, he will never hurt a person more than necessary, or kill an adversary, even the evilest ones such as M. Bison. His pacifist beliefs also allow him to be a greatly loving father and husband towards his family. As an extremely altruistic man, Dalsum fights mostly for the poor and oppressed, as he constantly tries his best to raise money for his poverty-stricken people. Dalsum is aware that if he uses his power to harm, 
he may become evil, and frequently questions his decisions to use his powers for fighting. Furthermore, all forms of yoga are meant to aid personal journey towards enlightenment, and not to harm others. Therefore, Dalsam is constantly concerned about his fighting style overwhelming his own principles of non-violence. Dalsam has a more mature and less enthusiastic nature, as he regularly relies on his traditional yoga meditation rites to expand his spirituality and keep his inner neutrality in the face of emotional involvement that may compromise his discipline. Dalsam always remains calm and serene. When he fights, he is always in a constant state of meditation, so he can focus on the opponent. He rarely speaks to his opponents outside of calling his attacks, and when he does, his words are riddles that leave the foe confused about his or her own being. However, even with all his spiritual discipline, Dalsam fighting style is generally described as yoga. Dalsam is the original long-range fighter of fighting games. His intense training has given him the ability to contort and extend his limbs into forms physically impossible for a normal human. He can project his arms and legs outward in order to deliver attacks that would be out of the range of normal limbs, and he is capable of teleporting to maintain distance from his opponent. Dalsam is from India. The Republic of India is a country in South Asia. It is the second most populous country, the seventh largest country by land area, and the most populous democracy in the world. Indian cultural history spans more than 4,500 years. During the Vedic period, the foundations of Hindu philosophy, mythology, theology, and literature were laid, and many beliefs and practices which still exist today, such as Dharma, Karma, Yoga, and Mosca were established. The predominant religion, Hinduism, has been shaped by various historical schools of thought, including those of Upanishads, the Yoga Sutras, the Body Movement, and by Buddhist philosophy. Hinduism is a diverse system of thought, marked by a range of philosophies and shared concepts, rituals, cosmological systems, pilgrimage sites, and shared textual sources that discuss theology, metaphysics, mythologists, Vedic Yajna, Yoga, Agamic rituals, and temple building, among other topics. Prominent themes in Hindu beliefs include the four Purusarthas, the proper goals or aims of human life, namely Dharma, which are ethics and duties, Artha, which is prosperity and work, Kama, which is desires and passions, Moksha, which is liberation, freedom from the cycle of death and rebirth, and salvation, as well as karma, which is action, intent, and consequences, and samsara, which is the cycle of death and rebirth. So what do you like about the yoga master himself? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This was your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage.